for an average. Well, that's not you. Yeah, it's not you. That's not you. It's enough for you. Even if he, if he or whoever comes into the two later, it's still the, the amount that they have to do. The amount that you have to do. This is enough for you. Because you have to do it. Hey, Con, it's, like, it's much like the the girl from the penny, man. You know, some men came in early. Hey, some men came in the last hour. But what happened? They still got that money. Jake said, I was Pan African and then I was a Muslim or Muslim. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like five different doctors. <laughs> you know, you know, man. Nah, that's why the scriptures tell you, like I said, what the brother is saying, uh, we know not into every wind of doctrine, you know? Because uh, Israel and our people flock into these strange women, which are basically the philosophies as the brother was saying. And what? And they become strong enough philosophies than the heathen. You know, our people are when they get into something, they get into it deep. You know, but what they don't they don't reverence or go back to what they really need to be uh, learning from, which is the scriptures. Hey, the modern, and hey, the modern day Egyptians, the, the Sudanese, they they not going back to Egypt trying to decipher the, the, the hieroglyphs. Right, right. They shoot niggas in Harlem doing that, man. Right. The real Egyptians don't even know what the hell that, and that's yeah, their ancestors' yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. You niggas trying to decipher some shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. You know, but we commit, you know, Egyptology. You know, hotel, you know, I'm in Raw Squad and all that BS, man. You get all into it, man. That's, that's that excessive wine, man. When you read, when you go to uh, that account with Apostle Paul, I think he was in Athens, 
I think he was in the Areopagus and they had all, their whole time was given to just idolatry. Just, it was all philosophy on top of philosophy, yeah. on top of, it was nothing but just philosophers. When you read about it, they were saying they, they all gathered to hear something. Bro, that's, that's, that was all of it in that time. Is that Mark Hill? Yeah, Mark Hill. They all went to, um, to hear something new, a new doctrine, a new something. So when Paul went there, he went back to the old, but in a new form, but they had heard it in this way because the doctrine had it didn't change, but it said slightly changed. It went from about uh, following after the law to that made you righteous. Now it's about faith. He broke that down. We the difference between when our, when our Lord Yahweh Shai uh, um, came on the scene and what he came to do to be that sacrifice unto it. So he opened it up where they could see and they were like, oh, this is new. Now, nah, that man drunk or something. Like, this man's drunk. He had to really break it down for him. And that, but that's what Mars Hill, like he said, Harlem is all about. Every other corner was somebody else teaching something else. Hey, yeah, yeah, you sniffing incense is the way to go, man. It's gonna find you with lightning. No, nah, man, smoking weed. And then, no, nah, man, this is like everybody's doctrine. Every, every, all up the block. Everything they're debating is, is, is basically outside of this. Yeah. You know, the things of this world. Yeah. We already have the ultimate guide. This is our wisdom in the sight of the nations. There's no confusion, there's no gray areas about it. It's proven. It's, 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 it's pure. Yeah. It's subtle. It's 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 uh yeah, I know, I know. it's life. It's life. Water. It's straightforward. It's spiritual. It's heavenly. <laughs> you know? With these other philosophies out there, you just what the hell are you debating, man? We have to debate. You know? Right, because you can see like and, and the way Jake's talk, Jake talks when there are these other philosophies, girl, they can never give you answers, man. And what every other book lacks, the, the Bible has. No nobody else has prophecies. Yeah. Prophecies are so huge in the in, in just in life, man. And because you're gonna be involved with it, man. You can't escape it. The only book they tell you the, the, the past, the future, the present, the future. Yeah, they won't go back. I don't want to right, say right. way too much. cannot be let it, ready to do good, kind to men, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all, when you really go into what these phrases and these words are, it's everything that we should be seeking for in positivity in the earth. And as men upon earth, we should be seeking for all these things. You know, and this is what will give it to you. Everybody, all, when they say, I don't want no negativity, well, this book will give you the positivity that you're talking about. Why? Because it is balance. Yeah. You know? The scriptures talk about how false uh, balance is an abomination unto the most high. And what the most high is he's complete balance, man. So he got the good, he got the bad too. You know, he got he got the righteous and he got the wicked. It's all in one. He says, kind to man, steadfast, sure, free from care, having all power, overseeing all things, and going through all understanding pure and most subtle spirits for wisdom is more moving than any motion she passes and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness for she is, is the breath of the power of the most high and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the almighty and that goes to show you like when Yahweh Shai said it's not that which uh that which goes into a man and defile a man, but what comes out of a man. If you poise with these philosophies of the world, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna split up the fruits of those particular type of ideologies. Yep. Like for example, Egyptology, you'll find out that a lot of those mythologies were about homosexuality and incest. Those creation stories and all that is rooted in, 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 in incest.
They got questionable, they got question marks just, just hovering around their they, they heads, man. What's crazy is Shaka Alvarez is the funniest to me. Bro. And even Brother Poe, like, yeah. he's known to be dealing with cameras. Like, I, I can see from the camera, the grainy ass camera, the, 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 the big camera that you're shooting this with, that that's a, that's a man. Right. There's two of them. Kick it in. You got three wives, or however many of them are where they at. You dealing with them? That's that question of why that 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 comes from. It's the demons, bro. It's the it's the same demons, man. You want to get into what the uh, ancient Egyptians were into, or you're gonna basically them, them ancient Egyptian demons are gonna be on you too. You know? And, and, hey, and we could go across the field with it, man. You know? you know that whole LGBT thing? That's become a philosophy. You know, but look, look what, what, look at the fruits of it, and then look what actually comes from it. They're trying to rewrite the script, the Bible, to fit yeah. their agenda. Look, 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 look at the, the, look at what is put in the minds of, of our people, and now you, you just seeing how degenerate they become as a people. Amy and Eve. Yeah. But then you, then, but then you're wondering why you're dying at an alarming rate of, of uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Uh, deadly sexually transmitted diseases, man. Huh. Why, you know, why are you committing uh, suicide? There's, there's demons that come upon you with these uh, uh, strange philosophies. You see when they fight this club, when they had that, that one moment of clarity, they had there's this thing out there now. It's called uh, transgender uh, 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 regret. Yeah, kind of. They're like, damn, I should have just should never did that. Yeah. Like, the pleasure ain't the same. Yeah, no. they end up, uh, they end they up killing themselves, man. Huh? Good, that's judgment. Because you realize it was folly, man. You bought into the folly, man. Exactly. Everything you got into it for is not what you're getting out of it no more. Nah, you shouldn't have been through it. Nah, you understand See, that you know. yeah, so That's why we got, <laughs> the Bible already has everything yeah. laid out for you, man. Covers if you follow up. this book, you ain't got no worries like that, You ain't got to go figure it out, man. Uh, let me try this to see if, no, right. it's already believing. It. It's already no. I created it. This is how. This is what I created it for. Stay away from all that other stuff. Stick to what the path I showed you. Follow exactly. the old path, like I pointed out to you. It's a sure path. A little more. It says, uh, therefore, can no undefiled thing fall into her, for she is the brightness of the everlasting light. Yeah, yeah. How shall was that light? She's the brightness of it. everything you did. Every way he walked, exude or, or shine that, that light, that wisdom. It says, uh, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High. That's how you know there is a Most High because of the wisdom that, that you see where it's coming from. Like, only a creator will tell you not to try this, not to do that. It says, and in and the image of his goodness. And, and being out, it says, like, and being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she can do all things and still be just wisdom. Wow. She maketh all things new and in all ages entering into holy souls. Not, not malicious, right? Uh, she maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. For the Most High loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom.
that in a good way. That are beneficial to the scriptures all the wisdom in the world is like to learn how to do shit is easy yeah. you know everything in the world is easy the scripture you know for the elect of course is easy but once you understand the scriptures and the, 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 the dynamics of the scriptures everything else in the world is to be all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give thee rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light that's right you know, this truth makes everything according to this world the world sees things that are complicated but to us it's pretty simple you know? And why do, why do we why do we chain our dogs up in the backyard? Is it for punishment or to keep him out of trouble? Y'all really think about that. That's what the scriptures do. Is that refraining us from having a good time according to the world, or is it to keep us out of trouble? It's keeping us out of trouble. Okay, it's not a punishment. You know, unless the leash is so short, but the most high, like you said, this yoke is not uh, is not as light and, and, uh, and easy, but we can give us a lot of rope. We can walk around all in the yard. Once we go out the yard, we're in trouble. That's what it's usually about. The scriptures say, uh, like, uh, then when we can walk, it says it's the fire on one side, uh, and the water on the other. Keep water, yeah. Okay, yeah, kind of. Okay, and only one man can go over that place. Come yeah. over that path. It's straight yeah, gate. Man. But, but, it's, but it's enough for you to walk. Kai, okay, you're not lacking it. Yeah. Kai, the scriptures talk about having temperance. Right? Which temperance means to have self-control. And that's one of the things in this world, there's really, this world teaches you not to have, not to have discipline. People don't have discipline. They just sprawl out of control. And it always ends up in a, 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 a effed up predicament. Very, every time. very emotional too. Yeah. You know? Because you, you don't know how to have a rule over your spirit. Wisdom teaches you how to have rule over your spirit, man. And, and these people 
people in the world because they they have a lack of control. They just they just go out there and they just just do things in in, 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 the, in the moment, and it always leads to you know it, 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 it always leads to something destructive. You know, you get into a, a, a argument with somebody, a person that that has no uh, rule over their spirit, they can always stress them into something bigger that can lead to both of you either. That has discipline and, and, and a spiritual mind. They actually know how to counter that aggression. And they know wisdom. Like the scripture that says, uh, was that Proverbs 15 and 1? A, 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 a soft answer. You already know, you know what it is. Soft answer turn to make time. Yeah. But that's a wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Subtility. Sometimes wisdom can get you out of a near death situation. What is this way? The, the wisdom. Proverbs 16 and 7. When a man, when, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Hey, look at look at uh vocab in there. <laughs> they want to offer the apostles the dinner after all that, man. Hey, cause they ain't. steadfastly in the faith and they defended the gospel you know the Lord sees that kind of faith and like it says in Hebrews uh, 11 it's impossible without faith, without faith. Without faith it is impossible to, to please him okay and we hey when, when the police pull brothers over we ain't tripping Jake in the world they like oh shit yeah, yeah, put, put that, put that out, man. You know, turn, turn the, turn the music down. You know, put, you know, yeah, you know. Let me, let me pull my camera out. You know, but us. This could be the end right here, bro. Yeah, right. All right, y'all. I just got pulled over. This could be the end right here. I know how this, you know how this goes. I got receipt. I got drugs. I got guns in this, the car. It's because Jake right. is a, Jake is afraid, and they don't trust how they'll be able to handle that situation. Hey, but they don't have examples to draw from either. Okay. That's the difference. We got examples to draw from how to use wisdom. It's similar to, to apply them from. Okay. Yeah, how Shai told his men, agree with thine adversary quickly. Yep. So naturally when, it's, when the police comes up, especially if you already know that you, you, know, you, you got your license, you, you, you got your pink slip, you got your register, you got, you got everything you need. Jammed you up any damn way because he's the devil. Well, he may get but, intimidated 
Hey, he might even do that, but guess what? If he actually spares you, it's really because the most I made him spare you. All right? That's because the most I was seeing that you was implementing that wisdom that he showed you. Okay? Well, he used wisdom. So I'm gonna make sure that that officer, that centurion, I'm gonna make sure he doesn't harm him or he doesn't lock him up. Okay? You gotta use wisdom, man. Jake is out of control, and that's why Esau's so quick to blow these niggas away. Uh -huh. These niggas are too damn emotional, man. Fidgeting and shit, high on some shit. Why, why the so, fuck you pulling me over, man? Yeah. I ain't do shit. You know? Yeah. Emotional. Man, let me get off this fucking car, man. So, so man, if you take off that patch, man, I'm gonna, you know? <laughs> it's about the you know what yeah. I'm saying? I know my rights, man. Although you're going into all that, like, you're yeah. smarter than the cop. You may know more than the yeah, You remember that one, the you remember that one chick? Uh, she was a light-skinned chick, man, and she, the, the officer was basically trying to, uh, he was trying to reason with her that she would not get out the car because she kept trying to recite that, that, uh, Moore's, uh, Moore's Law stuff that she, you know, she learned from somebody on YouTube. Right? Right? No, 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 that, that was that was something else. That was something else. But she, she was giving him a hard time.
I said serpents are the doves. doves. That's it. just in danger, right? But you're going to see that King David used wisdom. Go ahead. Now in this 1 Samuel 18, I'm just like 1 Samuel 21 and 11, and the servants of Achish said unto him, Is not this David the king of the land? Did they not sing one to another of him in dances, the saying, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands? They heard about this. Yeah. And David heard this a cold killer, man. Yeah. Yeah. Doors and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, this dude tripping. You know? 
Yeah, this, this dude, what the but hell? He did anything in his right mind. Hey, that looks like a setup hey, you, paper show. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yeah. Hey. You gotta do what you gotta He's do. He's using subtlety right yeah, here. Cut all that skate. Go ahead. You gotta do and let his spittle fall down upon his finger. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> and, and, and so he's he drooling and shit, you know? <laughs> Saliva getting all on his beard. You know? What was that word you said? Huh? What was that word you said? Subtility? Subtility. Yeah. Subtility. Yeah. Subtility. Subtlety, subtility. Okay. Subtle, yeah. Go on. And let his spittle fall down upon his beard. Then said to Kish unto his servants, Lo, ye see, the man is mad. <laughs> Wherefore then? You see, this man is crazy. Uh, the man retarded, man. Uh, you know, so they, so they, so basically in their mind, they like, man, he ain't really no threat, man. Like this dude, he needs some help, man. We ain't gonna kill this dude, man. You know, but clearly this dude didn't kill tens of thousands of your people. You know. You don't even realize that's him. Because he's he's basically he's the eye you, man. Yeah. He's using wisdom. <laughs> Jake being Jake, man. Hey, like like for example, if they try to this my mom told me, man, they try to come to enlist you to, to uh, try to recruit you to the army, either play retarded or or dress up like a girl. I went for the do that that latter part, even though that's I mean, that's that, that ain't gonna get you out of nowadays. Huh? Yeah, nowadays, that's <laughs> nowadays they they accept the, the yeah, trainees, yeah, whoever, yeah. whoever else now. But back then, be, before before that, she was like, "Hey, man, either you gonna I'm gonna dress you up with, with, with some with some pumps or something, yeah. or you gonna play retarded." Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, I'm yeah. you know, uh -huh. that's hey, but that's using wisdom though. Like we can't use the mental hey. ill." Right. You know, yeah, yeah. people with, uh, 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 you know, special needs. Yeah. We can't uh, afford to have them on the on the field. They give you a fake gun the first thing you do. What about guys that do join the service? Oh, I was in the military for uh, six years. Uh, and I woke up, woke up in the military. I got out. So, so the scripture speaks against going into service, maybe not like, you know, because there's different jobs you can have right. in the military. And so your job like, is preventing you from, from service of, doing the service of the heavens. Like, like some brother, like, it's funny, the brother that I've known that was in the military, you should probably speak on it, my, my fault, but the brother that I've known that's been in the military, mm -hmm. most high made a way for them to get out. Yeah, I did paperwork to get out. But if you, if you receive this truth, yeah, you think about going to the military? Oh yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. yeah no, no. After the fact, you don't want to be joined into the to the beast, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. So, but but like like you coming out of the military, you're um uh, and because go going in there's uh like there's things you gotta sign there's different things but like, now you gotta take a chip. So that's yeah yeah see that's I mean, what I'm getting to like is they the kind of own you right? Like special forces, yeah, you gotta take that chip. They're about to make it mandatory for all service members to take the chip. So, so that's why you got out. I know, I know, I know a lot of like good brothers that are that are in there, and it's kind of like they didn't really have a choice, or they had a choice, but they didn't see a way uh, on their own. They needed that sort of like guidance. But they turned it like they're they're good dudes. Like they kind of, I mean, I, I have friends that's been in the military. Both I didn't give him this knowledge, man. You gotta yeah. like that. See, that's 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 something there. Nah, I, I get that. Like if it wasn't given to it just wasn't for for them, I guess. Like it yeah, wasn't well, given well, to them. Yeah. I like that. Another way you could use that, and you said uh get out the service, you can use that in jury duty. You yeah, ever get a, yeah. go to jury duty? If you act crazy or something like that, they're not gonna put you on a trial where you got someone's livelihood, you know, yeah. in, in your hands. Hey, I, you remember, uh, uh, you remember Ariana? Yeah, there was a dude that used to be in an LA camp. You know, he was he was he was crazy anyway, but he was he was getting disability even though he wasn't you know he wasn't mentally slow. He he wasn't retarded, but every now and then they needed him to come in for evaluation so that they would be convinced that you know he needs his medication so he can stay on disability so he can still keep getting those checks so every time he would actually go and see them 
he would go in there and just start acting retarded so that he can get those the, the disabilities. So basically, he was Yai Kwab in his system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not Jake, man. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I would not advise brothers to do that. Anybody, you know, that. But that was just how he was playing the system. Because, you know, he, he didn't he didn't have a job or nothing like that. He was, he was, he was poor, you know. But, hey, man, that's just, you know, you, it's, it's about using uh, a, a wisdom, man. You know, you got you to gotta be smart about, you know, things. That's the best thing, man. Yeah. I got a person. Was that, was that it on that in uh, Samuel? That's a little bit. All right, finish that and then get your place. This is 14. Then said a kiss unto his servants. Lo, ye see the man is mad. Wherefore then have ye brought him to me? Have I need of mad men? <laughs> that ye have brought this fellow to play the mad man in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? Right, right like, hey, like, what, what, what y'all bring him to me for? He was crazy. Right. He was crazy when we picked him up. Yeah. You know? That was getting stolen crazy. Yeah. But that 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 act spared King David's life, man. You know, he got a, he got away from there. You know, because he was appointed to be king. In some jobs, you may have to use subtlety and yak to get the job and to keep the job. We all should know that, though. Nobody want to see you act like you act with your family and your friends at the house. Yeah, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mother, yeah, you don't want to hear you talk unprofessional like that. You want to, to, to play the role. As a matter of fact, an even greater example, everybody that, that got to go to work, which you which you know about the truth and how you you know walk yeah. in this truth, you're not you're not you're not walking at your job. You're not you, you're not going into your job with your with your fringes on your on your uniform. Some some camps you, are, bro. Bro, and 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 and, they're, and, they're, and that's not wise, man. Hey, d during the week when we working and we dealing with people, hey, we Clark Kent. Yeah. We ain't Superman. We walk around with the suit, the hat, the, the glasses, with the cape still hanging out. Right. Put the whole uniform on. We not calling our boss the Edomites and right, Esau right. and shit. <laughs> you ain't yeah. thinking it. You like to? Yeah, we may be thinking it, but we ain't gonna say it. <laughs> exactly. <I> think <laughs> See, I meditate terror, man. Straight <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, you know, hey, you know, set up the curses in, in your head, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whenever your supervisor is talking oh, shit. You're talking shit, you're doing it. Yeah, you just, you just turn, to, you just turn yeah. to the east. <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. He don't even know what you're doing, you know? Yeah. Probably a week later, he, he didn't even come to work and shit. You know? <laughs> you had something? Uh, Matthew 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Hey, sheep in the midst of sheep are the prey. Sheep are uh, uh, predators. The wolves are the predators. So if we're being sent out unto these predators, we have to be wise as serpents. A serpent is actually a. Uh, uh, that's a dangerous it's, it's, it's dangerous, but it's, it's defenseless. The whole body is soft. There's no armor. So he has to be wise to keep you in front of where his weapon is, which is his, his bite. He's striking his bite. So you got to keep people in perspective. You got to stay wise like that to stay in position with you. God, like what it says. Why is it certain? Wrong, wrong. God, in order for a snake to eat, it got to be as the bite is something. You know? Snakes just not out here just going wild, just going around, just biting everything. They stay in the brush. Right, because they, they, the, they not the fastest. So you know they they gotta they gotta be uh, they don't, strategic. Yeah, they don't they don't attack you know on impact. Right. They, they don't just you right. know just jump out. They they, they wait for it's yeah. a perfect time. Yeah. You know they, they go to a, a perfect distance. Right. And they know exactly when to, to exactly. you know uh, catch you, right. strike. You. Exactly. Hey, so it, even in this thing, man, you gotta know when it's cool to to to, to uh, you know give a certain answer. Yes, sir. You know, you use discernment, man. It's, sometimes you, sometimes you know it's when it's good to to, to, to yell and, 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 and you know get loud with somebody, and then you know when it's time to actually like mellow out. You know, it ain't all you ain't always screaming on people. Man. We don't, if people get that misconstrued about us. These guys, they loud. They they just you know they always screaming on people. They angry and this and that. But when you actually deal with us, you see that we. 
you can talk to you, you any question you got, we we gonna deal with you, man. You know, we 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 gonna be humble. We, you know, that's hey, man. Cause we ain't out here. We we don't we don't move around like we like we super tough guys, man. Okay, we're just men. Okay. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 8, uh, 15, uh, 3, uh, 3, 18. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. And let just men eat and drink with thee, and let thy glory be in the fear of the Lord. Yep. And, they, and let your communication be in the law of the Most High. Hey, as long as Yahweh, like when Yahweh Shai was, uh, Every time he was, you know, on this journey, you know, going out and, and, and healing and performing miracles and teaching, it was always an opportunity for the, 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 the naysayers, the, the, the wicked uh, Pharisees and scribes and Sadducees to roll up on them. Every time they rolled up on them, they would always try to figure out a way to, to, to try to chop them up so they could try to accuse them of something so they could basically get rid of them. Yahweh Shai kept his composure every time. And what did he do? He just, he, he kept his communication in the law of the Most High. He basically, it was, all you saw that was coming from him was the scriptures, man. When he was battling uh, uh, the devil on the pinnacle of, of the hill, all he was doing was just battling him with the scriptures. You know? Because that, the, the scriptures, when, when you have them in your, in your mind and you constantly meditating on them, it's just gonna naturally just 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 come out, you know. It's just gonna come out, and, it, and these people when they try to get you out of speaking from this word, this is where they think that they can have you trapped up. You know, they got certain angles and like like what we saw last night. They wasn't expecting the apostles to have scriptures for every question that they were asking them. You know. That's why they tried to get off topic and go into some other shit versus staying strictly with the scriptures. Yeah, exactly. Ask about, you know, one West and all that stuff. Right. You know, it's a lot, bro. We got it. Hey, because they could potentially win if they, mm -hmm. you know, try to, to uh, uh, lead you away from <laughs> this. No, we we going to stick with the word, with the word say, man. All right? So your communication is always to be within the word, man. You can never go wrong with that. Verse 17, for the hand of the artificer, the work shall be commended, and the wise ruler of the people for his speech. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his city, and he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. Yep. Somebody that's just their mouthy, man. You know? You, and, and you don't, and really, you can't control yourself. You just, you just talk, talk, talk until a fire, uh, uh, until a fire is kindled, man. Now, now those those war, war uh, those war of words become an actual war now, man. You know, you know how many niggas that got shot down because somebody.